Last month I completed a market research survey, but it only paid in Amazon vouchers or Amazon gift cards. And most of the time when I get offered those, I don't do them because I hate Amazon. I hate everything about Amazon. I don't like their business ethics. I don't like the way they treat their staff and I hate the way they treat their delivery drivers. However, now I have 50 pounds of gift certificates with Amazon to spend. I thought about giving it to somebody else and they could pay me cash for it. And then I thought, well, there probably are things on Amazon that I would normally buy on eBay. So I don't shop online very often and they do tend to be needs or wants that are going to improve my life or where I need to replace something that I already have. And so for the last few weeks I've been putting together a shopping list of things that I either needed, things that I was planning for, or things that I wanted that were going to improve my life. I didn't want to just blow it and say, oh, I've got 50 quid's worth of Amazon certificates and um, I hate shopping on Amazon, I'm just going to buy whatever I want. I needed it to be useful because it's still £50 worth of my income. It's not the same as shopping on Nectar Points. You know, I have, this is £50 that has to go into my income for the year and then I have to justify why I've spent it. I have no choice but to spend it, I can't spend it anywhere else except on Amazon. So, as I said, I spent a few weeks putting together a shopping list and I wanted to maximise what I was going to get for it. So I only looked for things that were uh, free shipping uh, if I went over the right amount where Amazon would give me free shipping. And so I spent a lot of time trying to do this so that I wasn't spending some of my gift certificate as postage because I always go for the free, the slower free postage option. And today I have collected my Amazon order. Now, I don't shop with Amazon. Um, I have in the past and on rare occasions when I am really stuck for where to get something, particularly if it's a, an electronic accessory, Amazon tend to be slightly cheaper. So I made up this list of, of everything that I could get uh, with the free shipping and I go to the checkout and the first thing it does when you go to checkout is it wants to give you Prime for free for a month which is a trick because once you're on it you know you've got to find your way out of it so I ignored that and I went to the delivery options now I could have overnight delivery for 4 99 to my house I could have uh, I think it was overnight delivery to a other place like an Amazon locker for 2 99 or I could have the slower shipping option which would have been I think it was like a three-day service which would have been free so I went for free because I'm in no rush for any of these things now I put that order in yesterday <laughs> being a Saturday today is Sunday it's just after lunch and I have all my packages so had I spent 4 99 on an overnight delivery, I would have wasted 4 99 because I went for the free option and it's here. What's even more annoying is that I tried to group everything into one package so that it's less in, it's more environmental, it's less delivery, all those sorts of things. And they've sent it in two bath packages. I've got this one and I have this one. So I don't understand Amazon's shipping policy because if you don't pay for the faster postage you still get it overnight anyway. Does that how it normally works or was I just lucky? Anyway, so today we're going to do an Amazon unboxing. Joy. I'm going to show you what I've bought. Um, partly needs, partly wants, depends how you look at it. In any case, I have to spend it with Amazon. Now, I haven't spent all of the gift card. I think it's—I think this has come to £30.50. 
and 96. So I still have um, some to spend, but I couldn't think of anything else I wanted that was going to come to 20 quid. So I'm just going to undo this box. Right, what is in box one? Okay, so this contains two things that I could have bought on eBay. Had I bought them on eBay, I would have spent actual money, but I'm spending the gift certificate. So, what have we got here? Carnivorous plant soil. So I'm waiting for my Venus flytrap to finish flowering. And then it is in desperate need of a repot. It's in a tiny little pot. It needs to get bigger, but you're not supposed to repot them when they flower because it stresses them out. So I'm waiting for it to finish, and I've been waiting about three months for this thing, thing to... It started to produce the flower stalks, and they just keep growing and growing and growing, and then suddenly one day you see they flowered, and then they're sitting there and sitting there being flowered, and they're just starting to go off now. So I'm waiting and waiting. So I've, I've only gone for a litre because it's a small plant, it's in a small pot, even a bigger pot, you know, this is gonna be too much. So. It's kind of a want because it's a house plant, but equally, if I don't repot it, it's going to die. And I spent money on that plant last year. So that's my first thing. And at some point, I can do a video on me repotting a Venus flytrap. The second thing I have bought is electric toothbrush heads. So I've been using an, an, uh, an Oral-B electric toothbrush for years now on high recommendation from my dentist and really good. Yeah, they work really well. But, my God, it's expensive. So the Oral-B heads are insanely expensive for what they are. The generic ones work just as well. I normally buy them in packs of 20 on eBay. This is a pack of 16 that I bought on, um, on Amazon. And I'm just going to find out how much that costs. Give me a moment. So these 16 heads came to £8.99, and these will last ages. I still have some from my last pack. I have, I think, three left. But I thought, well, I'm buying on Amazon anyway. I needed to make up the money. I might as well buy these a few months early. Uh, these work just as well. I've been using the generic Oral-B heads for years, and I've never, ever had a problem. They're all pretty much the same thing. These are slightly different to the ones I would normally buy on eBay but they basically do exactly the same job um, good money saver right there and the the Venus flytrap soil was $7.99 right now for package number two Do we have in here? I mean, I know what's in here, so. Right. The first thing is a new mobile phone case. Um, what I would really like is a mobile phone case that lasts the entire life of my phone, but I haven't found any proper leather ones. So these are the PU, uh, they describe them as leather. When you put in leather, search for a leather phone case, on eBay or Amazon, you will still get these these PU leather. And I don't know if it's leather inside, but the casings, after a couple of years, they start to go. My current one is um, a bit of a disaster, and I've had that a couple of years. See, all the top comes off, and then eventually the little magnetic um, thing that holds it together falls off. And so I thought, well, I'll get another one now and I've gone for a red one. And this one even comes with a pen, which might be a little bit handy. Um, I particularly like these ones because in the same way as I have on my old one, I get the card slots because I tend not to carry around a bag anymore. I'm afraid of being pickpocketed and having my bag snatched. So I tend to put my cards in my phone and then have them on an inside pocket or something. So it's a bit more secure. So that was a new phone case. How much did that come to? Let me just have a look. That was 7 99 as well, and this will probably outlive my phone now 
because I reckon I've probably only got a year or so left on my S7. The final thing that I have bought, which came to £5.99, is an external case for a computer disk drive, um, like the, the, the hard drive. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because uh, I am doing another video about that. So you will see this appear in another video probably fairly soon. I've made most of the video already, but I was waiting to buy one of these. And I'd recorded the bulk of the video. I knew I had earned my Amazon, um, my Amazon gift card. And I was waiting for it to arrive. So the video that I've recorded is weeks old and I just have to do the finale of it. And then that's another how-to video. So... Uh, keep an eye out for that so that's that so that is my Amazon haul my unboxing it's not terribly exciting but I think even when I get gift cards like that in the same way that sometimes I wear gift cards that are for supermarket use I don't consider them extra money and I can just blow them on anything I want to spend this mindfully like I always do because it's still 50 quid so I've bought things that I needed now or in the near future. I still have just under £20 left to spend, but I couldn't think of anything that I really needed or wanted. There are a few things that I could do with later in the year, but I don't need now. So I thought I won't buy them because I don't, I'm not going to need them for another probably six months and in the meantime something else more important might come up that I do actually need so I'm going to hang on to that I think they've probably got a, a good long expiry life on them I'll check that and um, so that's my video mindfully spending Amazon vouchers there are certain companies that I don't like to shop with so I've already mentioned about Amazon about why I don't like shopping with Amazon um, other companies that I that I have boycotted Primark uh, represents the very worst of uh, the clothing industry. Um, who else do I? I don't buy from coffee chains. Who, you know, you might think you're a coffee connoisseur and you go to Starbucks and you basically get a cup of sugar. They're not, you know, I, I would much rather buy coffee. If I was going to buy coffee out, I don't because it's an unnecessary want and I'm not really into coffee so it's a waste on me um, I would go to an independent coffee shop I wouldn't go to somewhere like Starbucks or Costa um, again I don't like the way they work um, their products are pretty dreadful I mean it's loaded with sugar up to the eyeballs and I don't need any more sugar in my life so those are like companies that I do boy boycott and there are other things that I do to minimize my unnecessary purchases back in 2015 I decided to do a no buy year on clothes I had too many clothes um, I tend I tended to buy clothes and then always keep them so I had lots of clothes that I had bought on impulse and never ever worn I did not need any more clothes I could not find a good excuse for buying any more clothes so I stopped buying clothes and that has not stopped. Now what I do is I only buy something when I need it, when it's a replacement for something else. And usually I will try to buy secondhand where it's possible. So I've recently bought those brand new sketches. They were definitely a need. I was running into um, minor health issues with my feet because I don't have a decent pair of shoes. I was getting into quite a lot of pain, causing a few problems. So I'm really glad I invested in those. And they weren't full price anyway, because I got them from TK Maxx. So they were £30, and they're absolutely fantastic. My feet feel so different. I pretty much wear them everywhere I go. Um, and I've also since then bought some um, memory foam inserts for other shoes, and I can swap it between pairs of shoes. And they really are absolutely brilliant. Um, what other things I was I was gifted um, a winter coat last year. Someone didn't want it, and that's the green 
uh, camo coat that I've fixed up, the the, uh, the Joe Brown one, and that's like, I wear that everywhere now, I'm absolutely hooked on that coat. And generally, I will I will get my stuff second hand where possible, so I use Vinted and eBay, but I have so many clothes. I have enough jumpers to last me until the day I die. My clothing choices haven't changed that much over the years, so a lot of the clothes that I'm still wearing are 15, maybe 20 years old now. I'm not hard wearing on clothes. I have had a big clear out and I've sold a lot of stuff on Vinted because um, the only thing that has changed about me is my size. I've got bigger and there's no point in me keeping stuff because I like it, stuff that I can't wear. So I have have been selling a lot of stuff second hand and I have no need for more clothes. I have so many pairs of shoes. I used to buy all my Converse second hand and I have so many pairs. I have no need to buy any clothes at the moment. Um, yeah, I just have so much stuff. I cannot possibly justify it. And it was not going to improve my life just by having yet another pair of shoes or yet another winter coat. I am not very fashion minded. I like the stuff that I own. I don't like buying new stuff. I don't like, like buying those sketches was, was like, do I want to do this? Because I hate buying new shoes because I hate breaking them in. It's just horrible. I like the stuff I own. I want to keep wearing the stuff I own until I can no longer wear it. And I like to make do and mend as well. So I'll fix a zip, put on a new button, you know, fix a, a hem or a seam or something. I don't like buying new stuff. And that's not because I'm making myself be frugal. It's because I just like having my own stuff. I like the things that I already own. I don't see any point in replacing them. I don't get a kick from having new stuff. So these things that I've bought are all very well. They um, all have a practical use. Some of them more practical and more necessary than others. But these are things that I would eventually have bought this year on eBay anyway. And so I've bought them. Do I feel guilty that I've bought the one out of them? Maybe. I mean, at least I've bought mindfully. I haven't just bought rubbish that's going to end up in the bin or I'm going to end up returning. This is stuff that I wanted. I will keep it. I will use it. Um, and if we all shot a little bit more like that, there'll be less rubbish in the world, less waste and less debt. So that's it. My probably one. Mm, there will probably be another Amazon haul at some point because I still have the rest of that gift certificate to use. Um, we'll see how we get on. That's the lot. Thank you for watching.